Whenever you're ready, just turn it on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, so the security is just to uh, small. All right, let's uh, start with the second uh, lecture of the day. Nabil Makranj on, on smoother presentations of GLN. Okay, thank you very much. So, uh, I'll start with uh, some uh, impact on the uh, low really compact totally disconnected group. So G will be uh, LCT so that locally compact totally disconnected. And it means that uh, the neutral element has basis of the uh, neighborhood uh, consisting of uh, the compact open of this. Uh, I will give examples here. And so when, when, whenever I write uh, H is a closed subgroup of G, I mean that uh, is a subgroup of G, I mean that it's closed and uh, automatically it's uh, to be aware. So uh, I'll start with examples. So yeah, we said we are a bit more basic than the uh, we take uh, F uh, on Archimedes local field. And so there are two types of uh, set fields. The first ones are uh, the finite extensions of Q here for some prime fields. And the second one is uh, of the form uh, F2 X, so these are the neural series over a finite field F2. And so such a field has a ring of integers for X. Uh, which is a local interpreter, so uh, it's a uh, maximal idea is generated by which I will call the uniformizer of uh, F. And so I will write OSR for the equivalent. And I will uh, denote by KF the residue P. And so it's going to be isomorphic to the final P. So Q will be the residue cardinality of my local field. 
It's also want to uh, introduce the normalized and absolute value, which is a character from F star to uh, C cross, uh, defined by uh, the fact that it's a trivial norm. Or cross, and if you evaluate it in uh, any uniformizer, uh, it's equal to Q minus one. And so the, the very first example of uh, NCTD group uh, is uh, F plus point. We put a topology on F thanks to this uh, absolute value and get the topology compact dotted disconnected group with uh, uh, neighborhoods of zero, the basins of neighborhood, given by the powers of the A maximal idea. So another example that I'm really uh, mainly interested in in this paper is the G GNF. So here's the basis of the identity and I can take uh, the following groups uh, the U and K given explicitly by a bit. And there are also the kernels of uh, the natural map from uh, GNN of natural homomorphism, such as if GNN of O over P to BK. Okay, so uh, this is also an open compact but it's disconnected group. And so whenever I have a such a group, uh, I want to define what the smooth representation is. Uh, uh, always compact representation of G. So yeah, G. G is quite general, right? Uh, ID is smooth if uh, every uh, vector in D uh, lies in uh, the fixed point of K for some K. Uh, Compact and so I will denote by uh, R of G. Uh, the category of uh, such representation. And uh, I will work in this category, so I won't mention soon. Yeah, and so uh, among these representations, uh, some of them uh, say a uh, major role, uh, those which are called admissible, so, uh, a representation of G. By D, it's called admissible. If for uh, any uh, compact moments, the group K of G, uh, BK, is finite dimension. Okay, cool. that's uh, all I'm saying now for uh, smooth representations. So, yeah, see, this was my first paragraph here. 
So now I'm, I'm going to say a few words about how it is. So, uh, as you know, by uh, this, uh, the set of uh, locally constant transplant uh, from G to C with compact supports. And uh, it turns out to be a, a, a smooth representation of the GFR uh, left and right constraints. So uh, this is thing to check here. In some of the representations that you get are smooth. So uh, maybe exercise. So lambda. And row smooth representation of G, where the definition of lambda is this one, with this left translation and row this one, so it's right translation, and in fact, they turn out to be isomorphic. So you just an F with a F change, which depends G to F of G minus one. So I have two smooth representations that are very natural like this. So this was a, uh, Heck algebra, we see a y zoom. So y can be a uh, dotted group algebra for G in the case of the finite groups. Yeah, and so uh, there's a theorem about the existence of R measure. So I will sit in, in this very specific situation. So if you click okay, a compact group. G, uh, there's, there, there's a unique uh, linear form so which are in T, K, G, like this, from the Hecker algebra, which is such that. So, first it is a uh, Row invariant, row G invariant. And uh, I want to normalize it by this moment, uh, this compact open circle. Okay, so EKG of one K, the characteristic function of K is equal to one. And uh, you have a similar statement. This is the right arm measure. This is the how measure that I will consider, and often I will just forget about the case. All right, DG means the happy from K. Similarly, uh, you have uh, defined the lambda K G. So it's a uh, that's how measure uh, normalized the same. The lambda lambda is for saying that I always use right. I don't I don't do any such way for right. And so, in fact, left and right arm measures are uh, equal up to some positive character, which is called the modular character of the group. So, uh, which this time does not depend on my normalization. So, there exists a unique positive character uh, of G, which is called its modular character. So there are two conventions. I guess uh, the one I'm using is the most popular. 
uh, will satisfy the D uh, and uh, directly on that case. So if I multiply the left arm measure by this character, you get the right arm measure. So your arm measure, you think it's C values or R values? C values. Then why it's obvious that the character is R values? It's uh. One, 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 one way to describe this is uh, you, you can uh, apply this to a characteristic uh, function of, of a compact map. It's easy to see the positive characteristics. That's not exercise. Yes, yes, yes. So, and, I mean, uh, it, it may be not the best definition of how measure that I get. So, how measure extends to continuous uh, functions with compact support. That's the natural Yeah. Uh, so now I want to uh, put a, an algebra structure on, on the set of uh, smooth functions with compact support on G. So, yeah. Again, the example would be what is it for upper triangular two by two? Your dead uh, I, I, I'll give the example of uh, parabolic groups in general uh, later. So, Yes, yeah. the most popular. There are two conventions it's A by D or D by A. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so probably uh, my uh, A over D class uh, by yeah. So, yeah, if uh, take uh, so now I'll pick my A here and I'll just write my, my how much is it D? If I need to say something about the moment of action, uh, I would say D to time. So uh, I think we would have functions in the Hecker algebra. Then I uh, define f star f prime x to be the integral of f g f prime d minus one x d d. Then one can check it's an exercise again that it belongs to the Hecker algebra. In fact, it it makes uh, this set into an algebra. It's uh, associated with the uh, properties that you expect. Yeah, so and uh, this is a algebra without unit, but uh, it says uh, you need a sort of algebra, then you then. So this is called the yeah, Hecker algebra. Okay. And so again, you click the compact. G. And you have the set of uh, functions inside the algebra, which are gain variant on the right and on the left. Okay. The sub algebra, this is again an exercise. But this time, uh, so as I said, this algebra has no unit, whereas this one has. Uh, in general, this one has unit. Uh, characteristic function of uh, k divided by the volume of k. Okay, and so one, one, one basic but uh, fundamental fact about uh, smooth representation is that the smooth representation of g is more or less the same thing as a Module over uh, this algebra. So, in fact, I D uh, is a smooth representation of T. Then it is 
and module over the Hekai Hezra. And once the module is prepared by an F or an F in the Hekai Hezra, apply to a vector B in B. It's just given by this one now. Uh, F of G by G B G. And so uh, the, the module structure over the algebra are for me to recover the initial representation. So yeah, it, 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 I really mean that uh, pi of F R nine minus pi F. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, more generally, whenever you have a smooth representation, you can consider the k fixed factors inside the representation for k uh, compact open to group. And uh, it will also have a an uh, algebra structure. So if uh, it's, I should have thought of the nice notation of this compact of uh, subgroup of G, then uh, VK is a uh, uh, module over this uh, uh, hacker. So, uh, uh, an exercise uh, is that first of all, uh, B is irreducible. So, irreducible here uh, in the algebra sense, it has uh, no G table of subspace except zero and Z. Uh, it can only add. Uh, B is uh, irreducible as a module over the Hecke algebra. Uh, then uh, if B is irreducible, so is BK. It's a module over the appropriate uh, type of algebra. And in fact, you can check that um, if B prime is also in the period of split. Then uh, G is isomorphic to B prime, same over here. BK is like a Okay. Um, let's probe in. Well, some assumption is needed. Uh, if, for example, they don't have k invariants, then. Yes, okay. Uh, you're right. Maybe so, not uh, zero. So. Oh, okay. You're right. So, yes. uh, so is BK if one, two, three. And then here also, I want, yeah, I want, uh, I want all those two guys to be zero. The above line is just an implication, right? Sorry? The, the above line, like the, you just corrected, it's just an implication, right? Or it's if and only if? Uh, no, 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 of course, it, it, it's just an implication. I could add any 
indirect sum and your representation. Yeah, without so, so you don't need irreducible there because zero is irreducible representation, I guess. But it's just for the last time. It depends. Some people call it zero irreducible, some people uh, ah, okay. uh, don't. So, uh, uh, yeah. And uh, uh, one last effect is that we call it chronic dilemma. And uh, it says that. Uh, Uh, phi is an irreducible representation of G. Then the endomorphism uh, algebra of B uh, is uh, C times B identity of B, and uh, in particular, it implies that uh, phi is a central character. And uh, sorry, what is the uh, the word after C on that last line? Check this. this oh, sorry, at the very end. P times P identity of B. Okay. The, 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 the whole scalar uh, endomorphism, the, the only one with, which we move with the action of G. Sorry, what was your assumption on G? Just any nobody compact with this? Yeah, I think uh, LCT is fine. Do, do you think? We need, we need some kind of countable implementation. Yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, you're, you're right, you're right. And this is not automatic, you think. Uh, yes, you're probably right. It's a horrible direction. Oh, countable attributes. All right. In this context, this lemma is me. Yes, 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 yes. Did you write that? And uh, it's a countable at infinity. What means infinity? It means that uh, it's a uh, G is a, a, a union of uh, of uh, of compact subsets. For sure, they must be uh, be valid. Like a countable basis. Say it again, please. Sorry, I didn't hear. Well, take the one point compact application in that sense. Well, I don't want the counter example, just the definition. What, what means contable at infinity? It's uh, for me, contable at infinity is union of a uh, compact subset. Okay, accountable, you mean, or just any? Yeah, countable, yeah, you know, countable, yeah, I don't know how to say, yeah, you know, of countable, many, many, uh. Compact subsets. Yes. I don't know. It's a uh, first countable at infinity. Okay. Uh, uh, space it, G uh, is uh, I don't know. Anyway, I mean so so any sub, so any subgroup of GLN F is okay. Sorry, okay. yes. Yes. So any close subgroup of GLNF is okay. It's fine. Yes. All group this group will be subgroups of GLN. Like compact, you mean compact and open? Sorry, you mean compact and open? No, I mean compact. Just yes. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. And uh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 It's almost the uh, equivalent this statement uh, to uh, Hilbert uh, Mulder and that compound. Uh, yes, and more generally, so if uh, GK for K compact of open is on zero, and B is like this, then uh, uh and the moth is on top. Consists of uh, scalar endomorphisms. And so, uh, a corollary of this is that uh, if B is irreducible 
Enrique Edmondigo. And uh, the corresponding uh, algebra is commutative. And uh, uh, GK is uh, one dimension. And it's, uh, we'll accept this in a shorter way. So I'm going to give an example where this corollary applies. So for this, uh, I'm going to record what, what's called the Gaston decomposition of uh, GNNF. So let, let me write GN for GNNF. And let me write AN for GNN of OF. And so up to conjugacy, this is the only uh, uh, maximum compact of group of uh, GN. AN is. Uh, Unique of maximum compact. Of GN. So I, I'll give a short proof. It comes from, from the, the structure of uh, lattices in uh, OFGN. You, you take K uh, compact. Inside GN, and then uh, you, you you apply a K to a uh, canonical lattice or to the end. So th this is going to be a lattice again, and this tells you that K is a support. And GN is and this more, the, uh, more or less a, a good proof because uh, uh, of the theory of modules over our principal ideal domain. And then you have the so called Gaston uh, decomposition. Which is the GN. Is uh, following this joint union. So uh, I introduce some notations for it. Where? Uh, so this text here is the sequences of the following forms. And this uh, matrix here is diagonal. So this is the Kaplan decomposition. And this decomposition implies that the corresponding uh, spherical theta is right commutative. So basically, because the double quotes are invariant and the transpose, so it's uh, uh, classical argument you can write it on. Uh, so yeah, a consequence. It's short, so uh, if I write uh, for uh, 
or entering the full hexagon proper including the right to the other. EF for G or F for the transport to G. Then I have the, uh, this is a anti automorphism of the hexagon. Now, on the other hand, This uh, F is the identity of the critical algebra. Uh, which is just the stand of the characteristic function. The code can stack. And obviously, uh, because these uh, double quotes are taken uh, on the transpose, uh, the triple uh, is the end on the basis. And for in particular, this implies that uh, if I is then the dimension of uh, y k n is the most one, and so I would say that by an irreducible by is very good for definition. Uh, the reducible representation of GLNS is very good or unramified if IKN is non zero, in which case it's a line, right? Okay, so now I want to say a few words about induction and parabolic induction. So I'll start again with my uh, NTTV group and I take a close to group and I take sigma uh, representation of my group H. So uh, then, so let's say sigma B. I want to define a representation of G from sigma. Can you move the right one down? Uh, yeah, you move that port down. Yeah, sure. Yeah, no problem. Uh, the representation of G, where so I, I take normalized induction uh, for what I want to talk about later. So it's the space of uh, functions. From G to B, which are smooth in the sense that uh, any such function is fixed by a uh, right translation under a sum compact open. Okay, so it, it, it's a uh, bit stronger than what we concerned, and such that uh, f of hg is equal to uh, delta h divided by delta g to the power. 
one half h uh, f of g. So this is the vector space, and the uh, group g acts on this vector space by right transition. Okay. Thank you. Yes. G acts there by right transitions. So uh, I, I want to apply uh, this in the following context. So uh, let me fix uh, uh, R in one of uh, positive integers. As you noted by N bar, here these are all positive integers, and there's some is equal to N. Then a VN bar will be the following so group of GN. So are, are you assuming G to be on the modular in your definition here? Yeah, no. The, so otherwise, the, the, this would disappear. You, so you're taking the, the right measures for both? Yes. Uh, no, I, I mean, there's no measure here, right? There's just a modulus character. Sorry, but they're defined the same way. Uh, oh, yeah, this what you put. Sorry, sorry. Forget my question. Okay. Sorry. So matrices like this inside GN, uh, uh, I denote by P and bar, and I put the group uh, standard from here. Uh, then uh, I denote by U and bar its unipotent radical. So it's matrix is with I and one I R. And uh, I denote by M of pop and bar it's a standard daily component. So and so of course these are of uh, size uh, this this is of size. One and so obviously the N bar is the semi direct part of MU. And so, yeah, so uh, no, no. now, uh, so GN is unimodular, the modulus character of GN is one, but uh, the one uh, of the N bar is not. So, here is the formula for uh, that of the N bar. So it's modulus character of u m. So here u is in u there and m is in the daily part, standard daily. It's going to be uh, the product from i equal one to n of uh, determinant of so m is going to be uh, this matrix there, diagonal g1, gr. Okay, so determinant of g i. MR plus MI plus one, then I skip MI, and then uh, it's minus MI minus one, minus M one. So parabolic of group is not really much. Yeah. And so now I can define parabolic induction. So I start with a smooth representation of M uh, inflated to a B. Uh, with sigma 
a representation of M and bar. Define sigma uh, theta of uh, E and bar, but which factorizes yeah, uh, this portion. Which will be sigma. And then uh, put I MN bar D in of sigma D in the term from P N bar to G N of sigma to D. This is this process is called a parabolic induction, normalized parabolic induction. And so, for example, a uh, consequence of uh, the E Pathara decomposition. Which is that Gn is equal to P n bar times n for any possible n bar. Uh, uh, this implies that uh, if uh, sigma is admissible, so make the size. So it is a uh, the parabolic induction. So, so now I'm going to uh, give the construction of uh, low spherical representations which are generic. So I will define generic next time. I will worry about it. Location is. Ah, it's just an I, not an N. I, 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 yeah. I, ah, I see that. I think it's in Chinese. Okay, fine. There's some typos here, so like the product is to r, i equals one to r, yes, and then the m's are n's in the exponent. Yes. Thank you. Yeah, so now uh, let me give a. Uh, so, yeah, maybe uh, I, I, will, I will write BN for uh, the standard variance of boot, so it's BD111. And, uh, and, and for U111. And TN for M111. And I take uh, a character. Continuous characters move. Chi of Tn. You see star, so you can uh, always write chi uh, like this. Uh, it's one and it's the product of character. In which case, I would say that chi is the sensor subject of chi one of the same. Yes. And so you have the following uh, theorem. Which says that uh, I, T, N, the N of chi is irreducible. If I only have for any I is divided by I j is different from uh, the absolute value in its inverse. And uh, you can, so in, in this case, if it's irreducible, I write. If so, I write pi, pi, d pi. For the presentation, and maybe the second part is that uh, if I have two such reducible representations, they are isomorphic. If I only have chi prime, 
is equal to chi w or um, w in the symmetric group of n letters means the uh, associated order of the components by the w there. Okay, so uh, now I'm going to give examples of spherical representation. I'm sorry. So if you take uh, the inducing a guy there, the uh, unramified. If guy is unram pi means the uh, prevail on the CN in the sector with KN. It's the same as to say that uh, I is preserved for every I on OS star. Then uh, pi I is a uh, random pi. And it, it's easy uh, to see just using the definition of the industry presentation that uh, okay. The following function, which is the uh, uh, right uh, gain invariant. Uh, so, how, how will I write uh, the function uh, phi zero? So, I use the Ibadara decomposition to write uh, an element of GN as uh, NC A, A, or even B. It's going to be delta B and Uh, and that's it. No, no. Okay. Right. Which is a uh, very good vector. Okay. Which then is the line of uh, spherical uh, vectors in, in the representation. And I'll just a bit more now. The spherical hecka algebra. Oh, no. uh, how you define the Sataki transform? So, this is a theorem which I will not do. Which says that uh, the spherical hecta has the graph. It's isomorphic with uh, other spherical hecta has the graph, which is uh, itself just an uh, algebra uh, symmetric polynomial. And here, uh, the isomorphism is given by uh, so called S, S goes to SF, where SF of T is given by uh, delta B M uh, minus one half integral over N N. Where here uh, the normalization of the is important. You want it to give volume one to the little compact of this. Then, uh, sorry, uh, here I forgot SN is a uh, function on this quotient, which are in, uh, there's a natural uh, action of, of the symmetric group on this quotient. And these are functions which are invariant by this action. On this question, and uh, so uh, already it's not obvious that uh, uh, it's quite clear that you uh, the image of the spectral transform lies there, but check 
is a very minor because of this. Are we given argument uh, given what I said before? So, uh, exercise. First of all, so this is an exercise on how many years. So, so uh, take chi and run with character. Then phi chi of f or f uh, in the spherical hyperbolic graph. Uh, it can be expressed in, in terms of the subject transform it's, uh, integration over Tn of F of T chi of T dt times T identity of V chi. My representation phi chi can act on my chi. And so uh, from this, uh, from this formula, you can deduce that uh, this is an invariant from the statement that uh, uh, they are with the second part. Okay, yeah. Then, uh, Yeah, all characters of uh, in, in in the in the set of uh, characters of algebra of, of this guy here are uh, are given uh, by uh, such a formula. Okay. So the exercise is pi chi f cancel. So this is the combination operator integrating. So so sorry, yeah, sorry, no, no. Uh, I, I uh, on dk. Yeah. So maybe I write this. Uh, sorry. Is you in uh, EK KN is a key replacement zero in uh, the in this is okay. Yeah, uh, and so. I'm just going to say already, uh, yeah, as I said it before, not all the uh, spherical representations are, are of the form by chi. Typically, you could think of the design and general dimensional representations, and you could think of the trivial representation of GM, which is obviously spherical. Okay? But these representations are those which are at the same time spherical and generic. Generic, you, you, you will get the definition in the next picture. So, yeah, maybe in the last. Uh, Three minutes, maybe I will take two more minutes. I will still worry about the local language correspondence. So, a very uh, rough version. So I think uh, it's water and it breaks both of them. Uh, and I see that the finite extension of F is unramified. Yeah, probably most of you know what it is, but I'll give you the definition. If, uh, as I mentioned, of A over F is the same as the dimension of the extension of the corresponding residual piece. And it's also the same as, uh, uh, for example, uh, PK. Uh, they have the same uniform. Uh, and if you have such an extension, uh, so first of all, for uh, for each end, there is a unique. How did I write this? It's a over there. And around the five of degree n. Yeah, if, if k over f is uh, unramified, I have an isomorphism of gamma group of the n over f between the gamma group of the residual case. You just send sigma to uh, the 
the sigma bar is from uh, four and And so if I write uh, FUR for the union of uh, all uh, neuromethyl extension of uh, FN, then I certainly have uh, induced by the preceding isomorphism or an isomorphism between those gamma groups. Here I have a copy of Z. Uh, the, the group generated by the Frobenius, for which corresponds to a copy of uh, Z here. Then uh, from the absolute Kalman group of uh, F bar, I have the subjection to uh, the Kalman group of uh, FUR. Uh, yes, plus restriction to FUR, and I, de I denote by uh, WF the inverse image by this restriction of my copy of Z here. And so uh, this is a uh, isomorphic to uh, semi direct product. Uh, like this. So this identifies with uh, this guy here. And IF is just the kernel of uh, one restriction. It's called the inertia subgroup. So this is the construction of the big group of F. So the group F. Group of F. Yeah, so I'll go over by a few more minutes. Sorry. Now, denote by WGF, the very unique group. Uh, of F is going to be the very group of F times FSBC, and I will call a only simple representation of the very unique group of F, a representation of the form. A finite sum of a, a, a representation of this form of I tensor. S, P, and I, where for I is a smooth representation of the group F, and this is a, a irreducible representation, algebraic of S, L, U, C. Of dimension N, I, so something like this is a simple representation of uh, uh, of uh, WGF and for uh, the NSDN, which is the theorem. I miss Taylor and Yap. It's that there's a natural bijection between uh, semi simple. Uh, Presentation of the WTF of dimension P to the N, what I do want to and uh, irreducible representation of the N, what I do want to preserving a local constant that I will introduce later. 
and God is the final, final Lord. All happens uh, in the gate, in the good one, in the very good gate, in the experience gate. So LLC1 gains uh, an isomorphism between the group of characters of WPS, which is the same as the group of characters of WF, and the group of characters of SR, so you can consider Hartzian reciprocity as well. And in the spherical gate, if you take uh, Phi chi on the irreducible type of GNN, so uh, spherical, or not even spherical, it's green, the phi chi in GN. It just corresponds to uh, chi one plus uh, chi n in the reps. Of the WTF. And here I use the uh, RT race process, right? To identify characters of the star and characters of the WTF. So uh, I'll stop here. There's some questions in this. Cross the cross the copy of Z, the power of the Prometheus, someone will map to the powers of the uniform. Yes. Yeah, 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 no, no, that's a good comment. Uh, in uh, I think, uh, Reciprocity, uh, for, uh, first of all, the, 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 yeah, the, the, the characters of the UF trivial uh, on IM correspond to the characters of SR trivial on OSR. And uh, yeah, RT reciprocity would say uh, the, the, the provenience to uh, uniform. Uh, no, yeah, I understand it. I won't say anything. <laughs> Know that you can use this bigger eraser. <laughs> Where is it? Ah, yeah. Thank you. How did you define SP? So, for example, SP and that's man. What was that defined as again? Say it again. S and yes. So SN2C has uh, for each n only one uh, irreducible uh, representation, which is algebraic of uh, of the uh, of, uh, of dimension n, which I denote by SPN. Oh, okay. Yes. The yeah, algebraic representation of complex because the groups are well in this highest grade theory. Why, why this, why that uh, maybe this, you know, is SP for special? No, I think so. I don't know. No, no, I don't think it's fair. No, no, it's not a is different. Ah, uh, okay. But there are also special modules for uh, irreducible representation of my friends. But, uh, but I would think that this is a, a part uh, of the symmetry group, right? 
but you have true right duality, which uh, which points to that. No, I think it's special here. It's special. Do you need representation of a central attack dimension? Yes, yes. For example, for n equals two, is it the identity representation on CPU? Don't see some of you with like a Frobenius simplification. Am I confusing something? No, no, yes, uh, there are uh, many ways to uh, define a uh, 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 linear representation. Here are uh, take some simple uh, representations of the of the Vaseline group and uh, formally define them like this. To say it's simple for you just means direct sum of. Uh, Semi simple things of bell, of bell group, tensor some symmetric power. Simple thing of a big group, tensor uh, simple what thing of this. What's a simple thing of a bell group? Irreducible representation of the big group. Ah, those are irreducible. Yes. Are they supposed to be for being a semi simple or not? If they are, if they are, uh, because I see obvious problem, right? I mean, because like you send your Frobenius to the matrix, like to, like uh, identity or to one one zero one that's not isomorphic, right? Or no, I, I, I think there, there is no problem with my definition of a semi simple representation of uh, the Vaderian group and uh, of two, uh, of two unramified twisting, uh, 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 a irreducible representation of the Vaderian group extends to a irreducible representation of the Delma group, absolute Delma group, which would be. Uh, that is the uh, Frobenius semi simple, I think. So, uh, so, yeah, I think that uh, so you're saying that by definition, your Frobenius on the bell group cannot go to 1101. No, it has to go to a semi simple element. Okay. Yes. Because of what I said, for example, if you, if you take a new reducible representation of the view F, there's a non ramified twist of this representation which extends to GF, the absolute level. And then, uh, yeah, absolutely, the group is uh, compact and uh, the image of its element are all semi simple. But I guess that's the question. Right? So, yeah, automatically, uh, the answer is yes, uh, the image of uh, Frobenius would be. Uh, I don't understand that. Like, if you just send uh, like a Frobenius, you just take a ramified thing, you just take send the Frobenius to 1101. Like, like send the inertia to one, send SO2 to one, like send everything to one, just send the Frobenius to one, one, zero, one matrix. So, so. Uh, one, this one has sent to a representation of an irreducible oh, representation. Oh, no, it's not irreducible. That's maybe the point. But that's not irreducible. Yeah. You, want it, uh, you want it to be reducible on WF. Yes, phi i is an irreducible representation of the and the fact is that the irreducible representation of the UF up to a normified twisting extends to a representation of a irreducible representation of GF. And uh, so, in particular, all elements are sent to semi simple Because the, the Galois group is compact. So, how does the correspondence go? Like, you're saying that, like, so I have my semi-simple representation of the Vaseline group, and then mm -hmm. you're saying that extends to representation of absolute Galois group. No, no, I'm saying irreducible uh, each piece. If if I take uh, a i, then uh, then there is the character of the uh, group f, trivial i f. This is in the book of Bushnellina, for example. Such then chi tensor. Uh, I uh, extends to an element of uh, an irreducible representation of the absolute value. Okay. Which is compact. Hence, uh, for any W in WF, phi I of uh, W is semi simple. How am I getting my how am I getting my irreducible representation of GLNF? Uh, no, 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 but I didn't say anything. Uh, no, no, the, uh, the, the, how, how, how do I associate uh, an irreducible representation of GLNF to I? Yes. 
I don't know. This is the statement of the longest correspondence. I, I don't even know the, the details of the proof. But yeah, nothing uh, obvious at all. It's a, it's a very difficult year. What is it that you want for a local language? Wait, sorry. Uh, can I can't hear exactly. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, no problem. Is the world sparkling for thousands? What do you mean by for once? Proceeding is for automobile forms, representations, and assumptions edited by Burrell and Chasm? Yes, I think so, yes. So it's a match. And another good reference is Steve Kudla's article called Local Language Correspondence. What is it? Yeah. Um, it's in the world of still good now. So it's not that And for, 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 for GA2, uh, you, you have a really uh, explicit, but it's already a whole book just for GA2, uh, explicit description of correspondence in the book of uh, Brutal and Angel. But this explicit approach doesn't work uh, for general end. Why do we study double concepts? Or why do we study double concepts? Uh, I repeat the question. Why do we study double concepts? Yes. Uh, they, they, they occur naturally in uh, in many syntaxes, but, but, but here is mainly because DK is a, is a, is a, is a, is a module over the, the Hecker algebra. It's the uh, KGK, right? So you're saying Kx on them both ways? Yeah, yeah. The, the, the definition of a double process, you, you take an element G in the group, and you, you look at all the elements of the form K, G, K prime, or uh, K varying yes. K here and K prime yeah. here and K prime can be K. Yeah. I guess we're saying that these representations are infinite dimensional yeah. objects to begin with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're all infinite dimensional, except yeah. uh, the one dimension. Yeah. Then we'll put the end. And then you take the variance, and you become finite dimensional and then you have some other dimensions. Yeah, no, yes. Yeah. I mean, that's just off the top of my head, one reason. But also the double code that we have. Yeah. Some version of packet operators, and those were known, known to do things. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. Long. So it's not from a number yeah. theory, but they also occur in that we need in Yeah, yeah, yeah. In many ways. Yeah, I guess like double code is like something natural. Uh, I think that was incredible. Yeah, yeah. So, are the K variants necessarily with G? So, you have the state K variants. No, no, that's a very quick challenge. Somehow, the, this induction from uh, 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 the function from uh, RH to RD. Yeah, so the restriction will be added to the period. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, y
I have no G. Is G B also necessarily K it should be no no usually you you you, 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 yeah. you, you try to do some in the in the same procedure and so you have a kind of representation of big group by looking of a representation of the small group. Uh, for every representation of the uh, or you can get representations of the smaller group from the group. Yes, yes, but you usually this way is less interesting somehow. Okay, I, yeah, I don't understand yeah. why. But because uh, because when a group is smaller you uh, say you understand uh, its representations more because it's smaller right. somehow right. and so you have a way to get many uh, representation of the bigger group right. by this procedure and then you have to to see uh, which representation you don't get by this procedure uh -huh. and somehow these are the most difficult and interesting representations which are what the customers right. 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 